guys, today I am here to do a review. I know, crazy right? Today I'm going to be talking about A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. So, if you didn't know, this is part of a new, completely new, different series that Sarah J Maas is releasing. Um, a Court of Thorns and, Thorns and Roses is a Beauty and the Beast fairy tale retelling, so it's based loosely on that ideology. In this book we follow our main character Feyre who is a 19 year old hunter and she's living with her two sisters and her father and they don't really get along all that well. Feyre has kind of become the main caretaker even though she's the youngest sister and her father is still there but she has become the caretaker. One day whilst out in the woods hunting she comes across a wolf and ends up killing it but she ends up discovering that there are consequences to this kill and one day a huge big wolf beast bangs on their door and demands that Feyre, instead of being killed for the life that she took, comes to live with him in his palace, not as a slave but just to live out her life in that palace. So it's kind of like a life for a life but without killing Feyre. So Feyre reluctantly agrees because you know she doesn't want her family to see her being killed and it's kind of the best option and she figures she can try and escape anyway and ends up going to the fairy realm, the fey realm, which is kind of in ruins, you know, things are going desperately wrong there and there's already kind of like this huge tension between humans and fey. She kind of becomes mixed up and in the middle of all this sort of fey politics and all these things that are going on in the fey world and kind of discovers that things aren't quite what they seem and that the fey world is going to shit and it could potentially leak into the human world. So it's kind of her trying to figure out her way in the castle and then going from there with all the politics that she's kind of surrounded by and getting dragged into. I love this book. You know how much of a huge Sarah J Maas fan I am anyway. I am a huge advocate and love the Throne of Glass series so I was super excited that she had a new book coming out and I believe that there's going to be more books in this series and I might have read somewhere that there's kind of, they're kind of going to be based on other fairy tale retellings so that'll be interesting. I don't know what yet. I just love this book. It was it was definitely a bit predictable because it's a fairy tale retelling so you kind of had you knew bits were coming but I guess that's to be expected but there were definitely bits that I, I didn't expect and if I'm being honest as well I kind of forgot halfway through that it was a fairy tale retelling like, although bits were predictable I was like oh, oh yeah when they happened. Sarah J Maas has like an incredible way of writing characters all of the characters in this book I loved they were all relatable even the villain had like an interesting backstory which made sense to her being a villain and it was kind of like you felt you understood why she had become the way she had which I loved with the characters they're just all interesting Feyre is kick-ass I mean Sarah J Maas just definitely has a way of writing female characters that are incredible and and secondary characters too they were all really really interesting and I loved all of them I love the relationship between the characters as well in this one they were really well done um, the build up in the main relationship between Feyre and her developing feelings for Tamlin um, was done really really well it, it was kind of like a reluctance at first because she was afraid of him because he was a beast and it developed at a really nice slow pace so it didn't feel like insta love which was good because I suppose with books like this where even though she wants it to be an action book is kind of solely based on romance you kind of run the risk of getting into that but it didn't happen it was it was really good really well done the potential love triangle that's so well talked about now is just a potential at the moment so i don't really know where i stand on that and i won't talk too much about it because i don't want to go into spoilers but it's definitely a different one because I don't know where I stand. The world building as well and all of like the mystical creatures was really well done. I, I found it really easy to picture the palace and kind of like the politic history behind all of the Fae happenings and why the humans and the Fae were, you know, not friends. <laughs> it all made sense, which is good. I think I might have even preferred it a little bit to the Throne of Glass first book because it, it just felt like she was more experienced this time around. The, the building, the world building and the pace, although slow at points, was definitely a lot better than Throne of Glass. So if you're someone that had a bit of an issue with Throne of Glass and the first book, definitely pick up this one because you'll love it. The second half of the book was completely different to the first half of the book. It was incredibly action packed. It kind of felt like it was a second book in a way. It felt like it was two books mushed into one, 
which was kind of crazy. So it, it was really, really interesting, the, the second half of the book, as well as the first half of the book. But there were slow points sort of woven in throughout, which, I don't know, it, it didn't bother me though, and, and the predictable bits didn't bother me either, because Sarah J Maas, so I, I obviously loved the book. This is a new adult book, as opposed to a teen fiction though, so there were definitely some steamy bits within there, which, you know, it was, it was yeah steamy definitely a lot different to the throne of glass ones they, they definitely got some good scenes in there <laughs> but all in all like i said i really really enjoyed this book and if you're into the fey kind of books like you like fairies then i would definitely recommend this one because these are not fluffy fairies they are scary big rural fairies and they're not nice so it's definitely cool to read a fey book that's kick ass in a way, it's not fluffy. If you like fairy tale retelling, so if you're a fan of the Lunar Chronicles, then I definitely think you'll like this. Because it's kind of similar with the retelling, obviously, and how it's only kind of loosely based on it. So yeah, I definitely recommend this to anyone that likes the Lunar Chronicles. And if you liked Throne of Glass, just let me tell you, you are going to adore this because I think it might even surpass Throne of Glass when the rest of the series comes out and that is saying something because oh my god I love that series and I gave this book five stars because obviously I've been saying how much I love it so yeah five stars definitely five stars I hope you enjoyed this kind of rambly review slash book talk let me know down below if you've read the book and what you thought and if you plan on picking up the book but that's it for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one bye Awesome. Stop it. What? Cause baby now we got bad blood. <laughs>